Hello friends, how are you? Very very welcome to my channel. From a young adult to old age patients, everybody can present with tongue ulcer. And it may be due to variety of etiologies ranging from a benign one to a malignant one. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So tongue ulcers may be due to variety of etiologies. Number one, acute traumatic ulcer. Number two, chronic traumatic ulcer. Number three, aphthous ulcer. Number four, pemphigus or pemphigoid. Number five, viral infection. Number six, squamous cell carcinoma. Number seven, syphilitic chancre. Number eight, tuberculosis. Number nine, Bechet's disease. And number ten, it may be due to some granulomatous conditions like Wegener's granulomatosis. So how to evaluate a case of tongue ulcer? First, we have to take proper history, whether the ulcer is acute or chronic, how long the patient is suffering from, is it single or multiple, is there any pain. Painful ulcers are due to aphthous ulcer or some inflammatory causes or maybe due to acute trauma. Is the ulcer recurrent? Does the patient feel any dental trauma to the tongue ulcer site. We have to ask the patient if there is associated uh, genital or anal region ulcer because it implies that the, it may be Bechet disease that is recurrent orogenital ulceration. We have to inquire about the risk factors like smoking, alcohol, betel nut chewing. We have to take the occupational history, social history, ethnic origin of the patient. From medical history, we have to ask the patient if he is using any drugs for some other illness because a cardiovascular drug, Nicorandil, can cause tongue ulcer. In systemic inquiry, we have to know if the patient has any gastrointestinal disease because inflammatory bowel disease patient can present with oral ulceration. Is there any eye disease? Is there any other skin disease? We have to ask the patient if he is experiencing any weight loss and excessive fatigueness. Then we have to examine the patient. During examination, we have to palpate the tongue ulcer. If it is painless, indurated, it may be due to malignancy. And painful ulcer may be due to inflammatory cause, aphthous ulcer or traumatic cause. We have to look for any lymph node associated with the tongue ulcer. In general examination, we have to see is there any excessive anemia or any other relevant findings. The investigations we can do are CBC, ESR. For exclusion of syphilis, we can do dark field microscopy examination, Triponema pallidum hem agglutination test, Triponema pallidum immobilization test, FTA apps that is fluorescent triponomal antibody absorbent test rapid plasma resin or RPR test. To exclude tuberculosis, we can do a chest x-ray, we can do a sputum for AFB. Any ulcer persisting for more than three weeks without any reason should be biopsied. And biopsy is an excellent test to diagnose or exclude malignancy. But it is poor at diagnosis causes other than malignancy like pemphigus, pemphigoid, dysplasia and the report may be non-specific ulceration or candida infection. So in the end the tongue ulcer can be benign or malignant and any ulcer persisting for more than three weeks with indurated base of the ulcer may be associated with neck node, anemia and fatigue is suspicious of malignancy. That's all from tongue ulcer. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.